adventures in Second Life. Revisiting a virtual world that it still exists online. Anybody can go into this world. Secondlife.com. You just download a little browser, you create an account, and uh, you can have a free account. Go in, bop around. I'm doing this, um, and I'm, this is going to be repetitive on these these adventures in Second Life. I'm doing these as um, just some effort to capture uh, what what it's like in Second Life. Um, I don't have any. I, I really don't. I'm out of touch with uh, any news or what's happening with Second Life in terms of you know does it have a a future, um, how is it doing financially, or any of those things. But in my own um, visiting it, and you know, I have a, I'm a I have a paid account, and um, so I do care about the place. I am a subscribed member, and uh, but I don't really know what the future is. And I, I, you know, it's quite possible that just one day it's like it's gone. <laughs> might be and even if it's not you know this is what it looks like now and that's cool and I'm trying to keep these under five minutes but that's usually impossible <laughs> for me so this is my house um, which I'll do in a future episode what we're trying to do now is on these initial ones is to show some of the aircraft I have so let's see if how quickly I can do that so we do this this is you know I mean cut this out and latter app episodes and there's an airport that I go to and there are many in Second Life and this is in the Hollywood area I'm at two minutes right now and there's hardly anybody here right now uh, we see there's eight avatars in Santa Catalina Airport that's okay good I think we can achieve what I want to achieve pretty quickly so I have clicked on this uh, this map, this world map, which created this red circle, and now I click on teleport, and we'll teleport over there. I mean, just like in Star Trek. <laughs> and now we are in um, Santa Catalina. Coming up on three minutes, which means I have two minutes to res and well, at least res, which means to uh, pull out of my inventory and make appear in the game. Um, and so I already have one in mind, if I can remember it. It's our map. And uh, what we want is our, sorry, that's our settings. Here we go. In my inventory, and we go in here to vehicles and aircraft. If I can find this thing, it's been so long actually that um, it's possible I've, I've forgotten it. <laughs> what the name of it is. Uh, this might be it. I think this is probably the one I'm looking for. It's an Airco DH2. It, um, and if it's what I think it is, it's pretty ancient. <laughs> and it was faithfully reproduced in Second Life. These spheres and all this you see as part of um, kind of like a particle system that we can get into in another time. But it's a way Second Life has gone through a lot of um, evolutions. And this, this was a huge step forward where you didn't have to use, you could make things out of more than just the basic primitives. So... Um, this is an object that was made with the newer technology. Quite cool. And at least we're showing that we resed it. And I think on the next episode, um, we'll take off right from here and I'll show flying it. So there it is. This uh, quite incredible uh, Airco DH2. And I, I'm sure you can look that up on uh, Google and see what that's all about. But in episode five, uh, we'll take this out for for a cruise. There it is. We're doing great. Five minutes. 
till the next one, Adventures in Second Life with Russ McClay.